Oh, don't do it, Titar. Don't go back to 4chan. Oh, no! <laughs> welcome to 4chan. As long as you're wearing your hazmat suit, it's fine. <clears throat> Anyone else feel that Gen 4 was the last generation to have that atmospheric magic that made old Pokemon games fun? The classical period. Kanto, modern. Oh, what do you- he's, They're gonna pull some crap out of their ass. Johto culture. I, I, you can't argue with that. That's some Japanese culture. Hoenn, tropical. Bro, do you know what tropical mean? It's a no cold. <laughs> These dudes are dumbasses. Nah, nah, this has to be a joke. Modern culture, tropical, cold. Wait, what's this? The modern period. Unova modern. Yeah, yeah, this is like New York, ain't it? Kalos culture. Yeah, they, they did good. Monster flew to France for this, right? He just flew over. He didn't do any research. Alola tropical. Yeah, that's that's what tropical is. That's what this different Pokemon, Vulpix and Exeggutor. Bro, you know, looking back, how is this a region? In a good way, I'm saying that. Like, we got four islands? Dude, if they executed this a little bit better, would have been one of my favorite regions. Galar Cold. Bro, this isn't the four horsemen of Apocalypse. Freaking modern culture, tropical cold. Oh, one snowy place, Galar Cold. Frick, what, what is Canada then? Alright, Gen 12? The next cold better be Canada. Gen 4 easily has the worst atmosphere along with 6. Feels like a freaking tech demo. Well, hold up. So what they're trying to say is the first four regions captured Pokemon well, and then it lost some sort of magic touch in the second four games. I think he's got a valid point there, but I think it's because they changed their approach. I don't know what it is about Unova that makes it so different. What might have they have done wrong in Unova that makes people off about it? I noticed that they're, they're really good games, and I know that people are off put by them, but I can't figure out where they lost the connection and why Unova and then the games forward go on like that. Because I'd argue Kalos got the Pokemon feel really well. I love the Kalos games, except the fact that we only had 40% of a game and then that crap just ended. That was a good game. Kalos was a good ass game, man. I think Kalos captured the Pokemon feel better than Unova. Unova were better games. But does anyone know what makes Unova so disconnected? Is it the animated sprites? Is it because all the music is, has taken like a complete different approach? Could it be that they should have stayed in Japan? They should never have came near America? That's the problem. These suckers went to America, everything went downhill from there. They have to fly back to France. <laughs> F the Americans, we go, we go back to the French. And then did these, they didn't go to Hawaii, they went, they went to Japan, right? No, this is freaking Hawaii. Damn, they just couldn't stay away from America. And they learned their lesson. Notice there's no two games in America. Look, four games in Japan, they try to touch on America, now we gotta leave. Try to touch on again, now we gotta leave. I feel like each gen had a different atmosphere. I won't say that gen 4 is magical. That's the region with the most industrial feeling. It's just cold mud and gray square buildings everywhere. When you guys play the games, do you actually look at the buildings and be like, this has no, I don't like these buildings. I don't really notice the buildings. Yep, the last one I really loved was gen 4. After that, Pokemon never felt the same for me. For me growing up, I gave so much hate to Sinnoh. I just didn't want to give it a shot until I, one day realized, dude, there's a whole Pokemon game I could play. Give me Pokemon Pearl. I didn't like the freaking new evolutions for Magmar and all that. But now looking back, Sinnoh, Sinnoh did a good job. I'm gonna compare some of the recent games, Sinnoh did an excellent job. All right, this is someone's opinion. X equals bad, V equals good. Kanto bad, Jolto good. Can't argue, Kanto's pretty short. Hoenn good, Sinnoh good. Unova. Unova bad, Kalos good, Alola good. Tell me, why, why is Galar sucky, but Alola good? Tell me... In another reality, Getsus became the champion and king of Unova in black and white. Ooh, that sounds sick. Imagine a game where the region's done for. And you're the protagonist and you're conquering the already corrupted region. That's a good idea. That's a redemption story for Pokemon. They gotta do something like that. I guess it would mess the formula up a bit because he'd be both the champion and the king. But come on, man. You already freaking messed stuff up. You can rightfully mess it up. During his reign, he made new strict laws to keep trainers from surpassing and overthrowing him. Interesting. New strict laws to stop. I'm trying to think of this in a game format. If Getsus was king and it was a bad region and we're like an we're like a little group coming in from another region trying to conquer it, whatever, save it, liberate it, and we got like the professor with this. I don't know what we'd be. We'd be chosen trainers or something. What would be the equivalent to the gym leader system? Would he just maybe he would have eight gym leaders, each holding like a certain key to his mansion, you know, to something that he has. And you gotta go beat all the eight gym leaders and steal the key. This includes limiting Pokemon teams from a maximum of six to four. Huh. I suppose in the game, we'd still have six, we'd just be illegal. I think that'd be nice, man. Like I know Pokemon is kids game, but there's so many, like Zelda, man. It's a dark, corrupted place. We gotta go save it. Just cause it's dark don't mean kids can't be playing the game. I'm not saying make an alternate world with Getsis. F that idea. I'm saying do steal that idea for gen nine. Do that, something like that.
Just what about Eternus' poison? Damn, bro. I actually like that Eternus was poison. I mean, it meant he was corrupted. Because Dark has been so overused that he didn't have the corrupted feel anymore. Poison Dragon felt like a corrupted dragon. A purple. Dynamax is poisonous to the <laughs> Yo, you. Yeah, he has a toxic personality. Damn it, AZ, you woke up Chernobylmon. Oh, so they're saying Eternus woke up 3,000 years ago, even though he crashed 14,000 years before that. They're like, AZ woke him up. AZ shook the world a bit too much. This man woke up. And that's what I think. I think Eternus did something 17,000 years ago. Someone stopped it. And then 3,000 years ago is when Zashin and Zamasin just stopped it. And that's what the ancient hero is about. It makes sense if that was around AZ time because France is next door. Runs is across the ocean. The Eternamax form is also similarly shaped like an elephant's foot. <laughs> no, it ain't. <laughs> that ain't Eternatus. This is Eternatus. Eternamax Eternus resembles a hand crossed with the serpent. It may be based on the biblical seven-headed dragon that in the book of Revelation throws one-third of all stars down to earth and is ultimately banished to earth with the Nephilim, the Hebrew giants. Wow, that's cool. Best encounter themes. It's not bad. It's pretty chill. Evil guy lobby music when you encounter him. What you got to top that? Bro, these dudes brought out Encounter Sailor. Ooh, hold up. Oh my God, bro. These themes are so good. The potential in Pokemon. There's so much potential. I'm just like so many ideas are fluttering in my head of actual arcs happening. Like uh, like arcs, a story. Is this not a game? Do we not have a story? Arcs. These things happen. Move to the next arc. The next arc. Next arc. Now we have all LA gym badges in the meantime of doing those arcs. Let's fight the champion. hits you it hits a nostalgia arrow at the bottom of your stomach you feel it ace trainer i heard this too many times i don't like it but i i get it it's banger it's like a freaking sonic course a mario kart course it's this is the same ace trainer but an x and y bro who Mustard is the composer, ain't he? This man's putting all this work into themes that you only listen to for five seconds. Who starts the train? The trainer sees you, and then you leave the DS and go pee and come back so you can hear the theme. No one's doing that. Okay, maybe I've done it. That's why the game's so short. This man spent all this time making the music, but he's made bangers. Backpacker for black and white. Nah, this theme just pisses me off. Like, I don't want to do a battle right now. Rivals theme. It's decent, but this this kind of theme just asks for light motif. So you know when you hear a theme, and then that theme is redone later on in a side way or something, like Lily's theme. So yeah, you know you hear this theme so much, and the reason when Lily leaves at the end of the game that it hits you is because they reuse that music in a sad way. Monster went crazy on the piano, but wait for it, wait for it. So, you know, she, I'm gonna leave on the boat. Nobody stop me. Right? So it hits you in the heart because they reuse that tune that represents Lee. This theme for Rival, what's his name, Barry? Should have been the first theme. And then he has like a badass theme near the end of the game because he's gotten all strong. You know, it just asks for it. It feels like the prequel to a bigger theme. Like it feels like version one. You know, it feels like version one just starting your journey with them. Maybe I'm just more into like more epic themes. Tourist. Yo, Masuda. <laughs> Masuda, finish the game. <laughs> Masuda's just in the other room doing this, making music. The game is undone. Chorus. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, he about to drop some facts. He about to go on Guinness Game Challenge. <laughs> He wants to be a millionaire, I mean. See, they still got it. Beats theme. 
Bead's entire lineup was good. So they reused, they light motif this into uh, his battle music. Champion Leon's theme. Damn. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Let's go Team Rocket Gen 2 Broken Team Rocket Rival Team uh, Last one Yo he scared me as much as Blue Cause he was evil This man kicked you off the uh, lab When you tried to peek at him He got slicked back here He was scared He looked like Knuckles Like he was gonna beat you up Aw oh, did, They did good bro <laughs> Skipping over Roxy Thread Why are there no bathrooms in Kanto? Asking the real questions here. Nobody wants to see people taking a crap. Wait a minute. I swear there. I swear I must have seen the toilet. I think they're bathrooms. You'll never get this, but with the Poke Girls and Pokemon themed swimsuits to collect, why even live? What? What is happening? Uh, <laughs> the Vegeta Bow? Y'all come here. Cynthia Bow? The buff ass Cynthia. What? It's just. What is this game that people are bowing for? Bro, this is a Pokemon thing. Like, this isn't even Pokemon. Y'all can get some help, man. These, these Y'all get some help. How the frick is this thing sentient? This is why Gen 5 sucks. Look at all the weird sentient things in Gen 1, bro. There's a Pokeball that's sentient. Okay, let's see this. Here's Shigeru Omori. Design maps for Gen 3 to 5. Gen 3 had a good map. Gen 4 had a good map. Gen 5 had a good map. Game designer for Gen 3 and 4. Good. Created cross evolution in Gen 3 4. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Cross evolution already existed. Like Gen 1 to Gen 2. Developed the underground. Worked on the Pokewalker. What happened? You'd think someone likes to be good as a director, but the games Omri Direct have been lackluster. Okay, I get what they're saying. So he made this with smaller parts of Game Freak, and then when he took over as the big director. I mean, honestly, I would say cut him slack because there's way too much to do. But at the same time, when someone takes over as director, you usually see it. Like, their their spark spreads through and the entire game can change. Like, the God of War series. Kind of want to take the blame off him and just say that higher-ups in Pokemon, like, say to do this in a certain way. And he has no control over that. that that's just what I think. Because you're exactly right. If he did all this right, why do the games turn out so different? This is the real Pikachu. Alright. Look like a jelly bean. Trying to read the caption. I don't know what the face she's making is. <laughs> Sino 2021. Ooh, leaks. It's not real, but just look. New Gigantamax. Alright, now you got me now you got my serious face. New Gigantamax form for Sino Pokemon. Infernape. A fatty Sun Wukong but with flames. Which is what Infernape is. A Sun Wukong with flames. Empoleon, ancient Native American statue. <laughs> what? <laughs> he loses all about him. He just turned into a statue. Torterra. Zen Garden with the lake. He turned it to someone's backyard? Staraptor. Too much Corviknight. What does that even mean? Why you guys gotta do you stupid meme talk? That don't even make sense. Cricketoon. Bro. If there's like a $1,200 budget designing G-Max Cricketoon as we speak right now, a large elegant cello with mustache. All right, well, if this beer belly gets any bigger, I suppose you could be a cello. All right. You notice no one cares. Like, please don't bring G-Maxes. Unless you buff what a G-Max is. Spirit 2, Magic Genie, sure. Garchomp, it's like a military airplane. Here you can see Gablias in a speed showdown against a jet plane. All right, I guess they fly like jets. Let's turn him into an American jet. Obama Snow, a white mountain with four legs. I don't feel like they'd make a G-Max Obama Snow. Probopass, I mean, if with... <sighs> Probopass, he's not alone. Brothers help him. I'm getting high just reading this. Just more Probopass comp. Yeah, make a bigger compass. He just turned into a big compass. Electivire, Japanese God of Thunder. Okay, let me let me explain something, all right? You, you're trying to act like leaks, but this doesn't even explain the design. Magmortar, Japanese God of Flame. Sick. Where's, where's a Dust Noir, Japanese God of Dust? Giratina. Bro, G-Max Giratina would be so crap.
Unless it got the alternate Krozma treatment, like he completely changed. It's just technically like some sort of GMAX, but he really like a Zygarde, like a Mega Evolution. Unless it's like that, man. Like you, you, you heard in Giratina's pride. Giratina, very similar to Eternus, but with the body. Arceus, not Gigantamax or Eternamax form, you know? He's the god. You know what would be crazy though? <clears throat> what if this dude's legit? Like, what if this is an actual leak? Like, six months from now, Gen 4's been announced for months already. We, we expect in whatever's gonna be here. And then slowly all these just start to be answered exactly as they're described. There are also seven or eight other Gigantamax Pokemon from other generations. I'm just saying, if a trailer came out and they revealed Eternatus and Pauline Torture looking just like this, are you really hyped to see freaking the rest of these fulfilled? I'm a bit hyped, but I, I, I wouldn't care. Hey, Mr. Leaker, could you tell me if we're going to get any new Megas or if they're returning at all? Bro, did he respond? Rising Diamond and Sinking Pearl. What does Rising have to do with anything? Sinking Pearl. Hard Diamond and Wet Pearl would be more realistic than this. Bro, the, the Leaker responded. Is there any Megas coming? I may have problems. I can't answer as I would like, but yet somehow. So he's Japanese. Or he's pretending to be Japanese. Another leaker here. <laughs> Everything he says is wrong. The games won't be able to communicate with certain shields without home, and they're not going to have G and D Max. I'm just gonna say something, all right? What leaker is visiting 4chan threads and commenting? This man's not gonna sit here surfing the web, correcting people. <sighs> That's quite enough. Yeah, I've, I went to the Poker Goddess thread, and they're just crazy. And everyone's Vegeta Bowen. At least they're not buff Cynthia about one. But we got some fun talk guys. Just shrink that like button. Answer my question from earlier. What is it about certain Pokemon games to have them disconnected? Let me know what you think that is. Because there's something. See you on the next video. Peace.